Probably the commonest alkali feldspar, orthoclase has low birefringence, low relief, right angle cleavage and may show simple twins. It's commonly cloudy and heterogeneous due to X solution. Another example showing slight heterogeneity. It's typically cloudy due to slight alteration. However, it can be clear, and this interstitial grain shows some cleavage. The Becky line always moves into the adjacent plagioclase on raising the focus. Orphoclase on the left, quartz on the right. The Becky line always moves out of orphoclase into quartz on raising the focus. Orphoclase typically differs from plagioclase in texture and grain size. Here the orphoclase is interstitial between plagioclase laps. And again, the plagioclase has higher relief. Also, orphoclase is often cloudy compared with plagioclase due to alteration. And that's cloudy orphoclase surrounding clear quartz in the middle. X solution is common in slowly cooled alkali feldspars. Perthite is an intergrowth of albitic lenses in host orphoclase and shown here by the different extinction positions. The exsolved albite has a higher refractive index than the host orphoclase as shown by the Becky line movement. The grain size and texture of the X-solved albite vary with feldspar composition and cooling rate. A more irregular looking perthite. This myrmachite resembles X-solution but is an intergrowth of wormy looking quartz and albite locally replacing orphoclase or microcline. Alteration and weathering can make orphoclase very cloudy. Orphoclase may be altered to sericite as here, but plagioclase is typically more susceptible to this alteration. <laughs> 